Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation Side Quests. So today we're going to do all of the newly obtainable Z Crystals. Now there's only a couple of them, thankfully. But one of the first ones that's newly available is Lycinium Z. This gets you the Splintered Storm Shard move, which is really, really good. Uh, and it's linked completely behind the Shipwreck Recovery quest. So I've already done this quest and we will leave that up in the corner for you as a card. Yep. So all you have to do is dive here on the wreckage site. You can get here using Oceania Pier. And all you have to do is find a key and then that will unlock this door right here and Lycenium Z will be on the opposite end of that. Okay, so this next one's a little bit more difficult to actually get. Uh, this is for Poise Poison Z. Uh, so what you have to do is you have to enter the fan club with more than 800 rep. Yep, and apparently all these guys are my fans. <laughs> and an Aerodactylite. But also... You get the Giga Impact TM. You don't give me anything. 10 XP candies. A gourmet treat. Ah, that's Poison Z. And five black prisms. Yeah, so uh, you can actually use this machine to check your... Uh, yeah, 805. And there's like a little bit of a ranking system. It doesn't really matter. So the way you gain actually reputation is you actually have to go around Grand Dream City and fight regular trainer battles uh, like this officer. So I think they give you each like around 20. And then I think certain quests give you uh, a bit of extra rep primarily. And then it's a very long grind because they can be anywhere in the city and some only show up at day or night so you kind of have to scour the city twice for that but it is for the poison z crystal so i, th I think that is kind of worth it okay next up is groundium z now if you are familiar with my 8-bit kingdom video you should already have this one all you have to do is enter in through the other entrance first smash these two rocks and then go up here and then, once you're able to push this boulder downwards, you'll be able to slide right in. So, uh, I recommend doing this uh, on your first run, because it, it, you do have to enter from the original entry point. You can't actually take this shortcut over here. Right, and finally, the last one that you can acquire is ICMZ, and if you've already done the Regi side quest, you already should have it. Uh, but this one, particularly, I'm pretty sure you can't get this until you've actually beaten Crescent. So, uh, the rest of them you can do uh, at their points of the story. And then you need the Dark Light Mirror. And enter this rift. And then ICMZ is right over here. So, yep, that is all of them. There's only four new ones, but uh, there should be plenty more where that came from. We are actually missing a lot of Z-Crystals still. Uh, primarily typing ones. There are only seven type Z-Crystals actually available at the moment. Which means we're still missing, uh, like, what, 11? So, yeah, we got our work cut out for us for a future update for that. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it makes up for that with how many crests and megastones that are available now. So that's going to be a separate video, though. So that's going to be where I end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe. If you're new, leave a like, turn on notifications, all that jazz. If you want to see all of the new Pokemon Rejuvenation content on this channel weeks before anyone else, you can do so by hitting that join button down below, becoming a member of the channel for $1 a month. Thank you guys so much for all your support on all my other videos so far. And I hope to see you guys again next time.